Hello everybody. This is a uh, Woodland Mills uh, HM122 sawmill. Just uh, this is the cutting head. I'm putting it together. Got the frame together outside. Of course, it's dark now. I'll do another video on on that. But uh, I'm just putting this together. Put the uh, the upright post in. They go in from the top first, according to the instructions. And I found that if you use some of this lithium grease or some silicone, some like spray silicone or something, and coat that pipe before you put it in there, it's got some sleeves that it goes through, and it slides through there a lot easier. I should have videoed that, but I got ahead of myself again. But anyway, I'm gonna put the got the pipes in I'm gonna put these feet on and then according to the instructions you can stand it up and finish assembly so I'm this is my first time putting ever putting one of these together so I'm learning as I go and uh, I'm gonna do a I'm probably gonna do it in a, a time lapse cuz uh, y'all probably don't want to hear me grunting and stooping and doing all that kind of stuff so uh i'm gonna time lapse it and then when i get to a point to where i find out something that would be a good idea as of, as of putting it together i'll stop the video and and show you about it and tell you what i found out but anyway enough of the ramblings i'm gonna i'm gonna sit this back on a tripod and hit the time lapse and see what see how much damage i can do See y'all in a bit. One other thing I forgot to mention. Make sure that you put this head at least six inches off the ground because you got enough you need the clearance under here so you can get your bolt started in the in the frame. That was the other thing I forgot a minute ago.
All right. And this is on the cable part that raises and lowers the head. Took me a few minutes of studying, but I think I figured it out. You got this cable. It's a single cable here. It's got the little uh, connector here, and then it goes to two cables. Well, there's a short, short end and a long end. All right. The main, the the main cable comes off of the pulley or off the crank, of course. Goes around this first pulley. Comes over to the other. This is on the right side. Comes over, and then you got it where it splits here. All right, your short end of your cable is gonna go on your front groove. This pulley's double grooved. It's gonna go on your front groove. And then it's gonna run down. If you're standing behind it on with the motor, it'll be on the left side. And it's gonna hook down there in the front. I'll show you that in a minute. On your back groove of your pulley is your long cable and it just wraps around the pulley and it comes back over here and wraps around this pulley and then it goes down to this turnbuckle where it's can adjust it and this is on the right side of the cutting head if you're standing behind it with the engine in other words back here Trying to hold this light where y'all can see this decent. Now this side hooks up to the turnbuckle fine. Just pull that little pin out there and hook it in. But what I ran into on this front one, which I mean it's doable, it's just a little, a little hard to get in there. There's not any room. Your cable hooks in onto that bolt right there let me see if I can get this light to cooperate with me hopefully y'all can see that you don't you barely can get your finger in there well, this nuts got to come off your cable slides on and then you put the nut back on now what I figured out you can take an 18 millimeter socket. This has got to be a short socket and an old wobble and an extension. And you just can get in there to work that thing. So it's a little, it's a little hard to get in there, but it is doable. You can do it. But that's about the only. The only problem that I have run into so far on this thing, that wasn't really a problem. Just a little, takes a little time. Oh, and right here. Oh, uh, this is your log. And I can't remember what they called this thing. It's got one, one longer bolt that goes in the back of it here. And I messed up and used my, one of my other bolts here. And so I was missing a bolt. And then I went back and looked at it again. This is, this, this is one longer bolt that comes with it. So it goes here. And then that, of course, you have your bolts for the rest of it. And I hadn't tightened up anything. It's all just kind of snug until it's all put together. And then we'll fine tune and level and adjust and all that. So I'm going to continue on. I just want to show you all that. And uh, it does raise up and down like it should. So far, so good. 
So we'll get back after it. Now take a gander at that. Man, that's plum, that's plum pretty right there. Look at that. Man, what you talking about? No polishing up. That sure beats a plastic tank. That's your, uh, your uh, water tank to run on your blade when you're cutting. Most of these have got plastic jugs or whatever on them. That's aluminum. It's blown pretty. Polish that up, throw a couple of chicken lights on it. Uh, you can be in business. Come on. Got it all put together. Now this does have the one of the track extensions. So I can I wanted to be able to cut up to 16 foot boards and 12 and 14 and 16. So I did get the go ahead and get the extension when I ordered it. And I built this frame to mount it on. This is four by sixes. Standing upright. I got I got it crossed with four by sixes. And then I've got two by sixes on top of that. And then I've got that sitting on the concrete blocks and I've got some anchors on each corner, anchoring it in the ground with some turnbuckles so I can adjust that if I need to. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here or not. I might move it. So if I ever do move it, I'll probably sink some posts in the ground and build a good solid frame I don't think this is going to go anywhere but I wasn't 100% sure if I'm going to leave it here once I get to, to working I might decide to move it to a different spot but it's uh you'll have to trust me it is level and square I didn't wasn't going to take y'all on my OCD fuel tangent of squaring and leveling this thing i'm kind of weird about this kind of stuff so that video would have been several hours long it would have been almost as bad as watching a incoherent speech from the former vp if you know what i'm talking about but anyway it's all locked down squared level i'm gonna go up there and Get the tractor, pick the head up, and bring it down here and set it on it. Just wanted to show y'all the progress on it so far. And I'll make a video of me attempting to set the head on it with the tractor. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all hang on tight up there. Here we go.
didn't move the chain right. down the track see how he do Tell you what, Illinois Central would be proud. So far, so good. I just like leveling everything up on the head, adjusting it. Go back and check these bolts about knowing me 25, 26 times. Make sure everything's tight. I think it's gonna work out nice. I'm almost anxious to cut a tree. I've only got those and there's some more down there and then there's a bunch standing up right there that needs to be cut. So I think I'll break this thing in pretty good. Anyway, next time I'll uh, I make a video, hopefully I'll be chunking some sawdust out the side of it. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.